Number 13. State which of the following species are amphiprotic and write chemical equations illustrating the amphiprotic character of these species. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we have to figure out if NH3, which is ammonia, if that is an amphiprotic species. Another word for amphiprotic is amphoteric. So your teacher or professor might use that word instead. Tomato, tomato. If you have a amphoteric or a, ooh, I just realized I spelled this wrong, ampoteric. So hold on, we'll just take that out and we gotta add that H in there. So we'll say am, there we go, perfect. Okay, so if an ion or a molecule is amphoteric or amphiprotic, that just means that uh, it has both acidic and basic properties. So it can act as both an acid and a base depending on what situation uh, it's in. So how are we going to figure out if NH3 can act as an acid and if it can act as a base? Well, it goes back to what Bronsted Lowry uh, acid and bases are, right? Acids, they have hydrogens and they donate them. In other words, they basically will lose one hydronium ion or H plus. So if you're going to lose a hydrogen, you got to have it in the first place. So if I look at NH3, it might be a little weird because I do see these H's in the back of the compound. Generally, if you see H's in the front, that's a clear sign that it's going to be an acid. But in this case, even though there's hydrogens in the back, it's still hydrogens, right? And the nitrogen has three hydrogens surrounding it, if we think of the Lewis structure. So it can lose one of them, it can lose one of the hydrogens. So in that case, it can act as an acid. So we'll check this one off. Now we have to figure out if it can act as a base. Well, Bronsted-Lowry bases, they will gain the one H plus that the acid, whatever acid is in solution, uh, they'll gain the hydrogen. Now, generally speaking, you could figure out if this is gonna act as an, a base is by looking at the charges. If you see a negative charge, that's gonna be a base. And some neutral atoms as well. But the rule of thumb is that if you're a positive uh, ion, eh, can't really act as a base. Now in this case, NH3, there was no charge in the upper right-hand corner, so that's zero. We're in the neutral category. Now, there are uh, some exceptions because we are in chemistry land. If you are a polyatomic, that was neutral. If you came from a polyatomic ion and you are neutral, um, you're not going to be basically a base, all right? Mainly if we're looking at like H3PO4, and phosphate, PO4, came from the phosphate, you know, the polyatomic phosphate, and this is neutral, eh, it's not going to be able to act as a base. Now, in this case, it's a little bit easier to just draw out the Lewis structure and see if we fall, fall into the category. So if I just draw the Lewis structure, I have nitrogen, I have three hydrogens surrounding it, and remember, there's a lone pair of electrons. Now, since there are two electrons here, these electrons are able to make a new bond with a hydrogen. That's how it gains one of the hydrogens. These two electrons turn into a bond, beep, beep. they turn into a bond with the hydrogen that it gains from the acid. So in this case, since it has those two electrons, it can act as a base. So we'll give this a check. And then would you look at that? Would you look at that? Where is that from? <laughs> Would you look at this? Um, NH3 has both acid and base properties, so it's amphiprotic or amphoteric. Now we just have to write the chemical equations. So I'm going to write two of them. We'll say NH3, and then we'll do it again. And in one instance, NH3 is going to act as the acid. And then in the other instance, NH3 is going to act as the base. Now remember, if you're doing acid-base reactions, if you're stating that you're starting with an acid, you have to react it with the base. You cannot have two acids reacting together or two bases reacting together. So on the flip side, if it's acting as a base, you have to add some type of acid. And then comes the 
balanced equation. Maybe we'll do, actually, we won't do equilibrium here. We'll just say, okay, this is what happened. Okay, so now here comes a difference between maybe yours and mine answers, or my answer, right? You could have chose any base here. It just had to basically be a base and have no you know, possibility of acting as an acid. So there are a couple of things that you could have used. You could have used like CN minus, this has no acidic hydrogen. Um, you could use like S2 minus, that's definitely a base. It doesn't have any hydrogens. Um, you could have, let's see, any other one that I'm thinking of? Eh, not really. But the one that I want to use to just like make it a little bit different throughout all the examples is I'm going to use hydroxide. Even though there is an H here, this H is not acidic. OH minus is very, 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 very basic. And you see that you have a negative charge here. Remember, negatives mean that they're probably going to be bases. On the flip side, pick any acid that will only act as an acid and not a base, aka your six strong acids. So you could have said like HCl, you could have said um, HBr or HI. Doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll switch it up a little bit and we'll do HNO3, nitric acid, one of your six strong acids. All right. So now we have our acids and bases ready to go. Let's make our products. Well, remember, anytime that you're starting off with an acid, it's going to lose that hydrogen and it's going to become the conjugate base. And then on the flip side, if you're starting off with a base, remember bases gain hydrogens, so they become the conjugate acid. So all we have to do is just write out the conjugates of each. So that's why I wrote down what, we're, what we have going on here. NH3 acting as an acid will turn into its conjugate base. So any acid turning into its conjugate base will always lose one hydrogen. So there were three hydrogens here. So all you got to do is just drop three down to a two. So turn to NH2. And now you just have to account for the charge. If you're losing one hydrogen, you minus one to the overall charge. But if I look in the upper right-hand corner of NH3, there was no charge, it was zero. So when I come over to NH2, I say, okay, it was zero. I lost a hydrogen, so minus one. Zero minus one is negative one. So I just put in minus one, or you could just put a minus here. And now we just have to do the base. OH minus, the base, when it turns into its conjugate acid, will gain one H. So there was a hydrogen here. So I'm just gonna say now I have two of them because I'm gaining one more. So it'd be OH2. This kind of looks weird though. But if I just take the oxygen and push it over here, whoa, that's the conjugate acid of hydroxide. It's always gonna be water. And if you wanna just follow the charge, plus one, because you added a hydrogen, Hydroxide was negative one originally, so negative one plus one, that's neutral. So you don't have to write any numbers up top here. We're done with the first one. Let's do the second one. I'm just gonna bring that a little bit down here. Now, since you're treating NH3 ammonia as a base, it's going to turn into its conjugate acid. Okay, and then on the flip side, the uh, nitric acid, HNO3, will turn into its, yeah, you got it, conjugate base. So now we just do the same thing that we did before. Bases turning into acids gain a hydrogen plus one. So you had three hydrogens, so now you add one. So it would become NH4. Now you plus one to the total charge. Remember we said that ammonia was a zero charge before. So zero plus one, zero plus one is just a plus one. I could just put a, put a plus here. And then acids turning into their conjugate bases, acids to base, you lose a hydrogen. 
and you minus one. Well, there was only one hydrogen to lose, so get rid of it. So now it just becomes N, whoop, we'll say N, O3. Minus one to the overall charge. There was none that I saw. That means it was zero in the beginning. So zero minus one, that's just a negative one. Or I could just put a negative charge. And that's it. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helps, all right? Uh, I hope you're doing well out there. And let's keep studying hard. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.